Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Nula Cowan, and I'm with a group called the uh, Open Data for Resilience Initiative, and we're with the World Bank, and we're part of a larger team called the Global Facility for Disaster Reduction and Recovery. <sighs> we like our long names. And I'm new, relatively new to the team, not new to the world of OSM at all. Um, I, for 12 years, was with the George Washington University working with students and training around OSM, specifically in disaster risk reduction scenarios. So it was uh, a natural fit to begin working with this team. Just to briefly explain who I'm with and why we're doing what we're doing. Um, Open DRI, we work kind of in a more non-traditional space um, in countries where the World Bank is active. They do traditional learning projects and big, long, multi-year infrastructure projects. And we're trying to work kind of at the beginning of those to encourage uh, the sharing of existing data, uh, collecting new data that would be available uh, in the open, and then using that data to inform decision making. And we very much support the use of OSM in these scenarios. So that's where I come from. And what we're working on uh, right now is a program called Open Cities Africa, where we're working simultaneously with 11 cities uh, all the way from the east to west coast, all the way out to the Seychelles. Um, and with those 11 cities, we are working with implementation teams that are collecting data using OSM um, for disaster risk reduction scenarios. Um, and they're working on a six to eight month schedule where they are uh, working with local government stakeholders, also local community stakeholders, to decide where is best to collect that, what attributes they collect, how that fits with the OSM data model. So not only are we gathering data, not only are we collecting that data, we are putting it to good use, that it will have life beyond the project, so that we can encourage the collection of it beyond the immediate study areas. Big part of what we're trying to fund across these 11 cities is building regional capacity in data collection and in the practice of using open data for this kind of thing. Because in the long term, our group is interested in trying to get governments to adopt open data, open data policies across all their different sectors, not just for disaster risk reduction. But because of the base data that we collect for disaster risk reduction is usable across so many other sectors, it's a really good place to start and you get a lot of people um, involved in the conversation. So the 11 cities that are participating in this, Accra, Ghana, I'm bouncing around because they're listed here um, alphabetically. We have Accra, Ghana, Antananarivo, Madagascar. We have Kinshasa, Kampala, two cities in uh, the Republic of Congo, Point Noir and Brazzaville. We have uh, Monrovia, Nagandere, Cameroon, San Luis, Stone, Stonetown in Zanzibar, and Victoria Seychelles. So we are spread uh, right across the entire country. And our choice, like a lot of people were like, okay, that's kind of random. Where is the, the grouping? How did this come together? Um, saying that my group is non-traditional, we actually give grants or contracts, the group that I'm in. We don't deal with the governments and loans. Um, and we saw maybe a bit of a disconnect that we were funding small interesting groups to do mapping, but those small interesting groups in country weren't necessarily working with their local government. And then that could cause tension. And that might be the reason why something like open mapping could fail in the long term. So we started to go to the regional directors and the country directors and say, hey, we have this novel approach to geospatial data collection, you know, that new thing that you have to have in all your projects. How about you work with us and we will give you some seed funding to help collect pilot data using our methodology. And what we're starting to find is they're, they're really interested in how quickly and effectively that this is working in many of our cities, and there, some of them are already starting to fund an expansion of what we're doing in their longer term projects. So just very quickly, this is kind of more how the program is structured. We picked 11 implementation teams in our cities. Our program is phased out in four stages. Um, they, we had to work with our regional directors or our city leads at the bank to come up with a very defined case study, pick a study area. All those implementation teams were brought to a training. Most of them were very uh, uh, versed in OSM and data collection already, but we wanted them to already engage those government stakeholders who might have been more traditional GIS people 
also bring them so we could teach things like Open Map Kit, JOSM, stuff that they hadn't done before. So we kicked that off together. The second stage will focus on mapping at home in country. That's training the local teams, engaging uh, again with universities uh, various different ways. We brought the teams back kind of mid-map phase to FOS4G, so there was more reporting back. We taught them some uh, new skills around user-centered uh, design. They will actually all design and create a prototype of products to communicate back that data, and they will develop a project on the basis of that. And this they are all doing in eight months. So they've been a pretty impressive bunch so far. I've kind of alluded to the progress we've already made. We've also created an online platform to support this group with different tools uh, to help them through that, uh, different learning goals. They're kind of mid-flight right now, maybe two-thirds way through. Uh, we have a site that introduces all our cities, so if you want to visit that to see where we are and where they are in their data collection, and come reach out to me if you have any questions. Thank you.